My role this morning is to welcome you all and to say I'm really proud to be here today in this wonderful, wonderful city of Dublin. Ireland is a, a country that is so cherished in Mozambique because uh, they have a different and special approach to issues of concern uh, to our countries. And when they decided to be present in Mozambique and to dedicate themselves to improving the health service in Mozambique and the quality of living as one of their own goals, they did something which is so important to us. Partnership for me is a mindset. Uh, it's not a formula and it's, uh, it's about relationships and not systems. And then um, this was in my early, um, early days with Twitter and suddenly found that this was being retweeted around Geneva. And I thought, like, wow, I've really made it now. <laughs> and, um, but uh, uh, if you take nothing else away from, from my talk today, um, please take this. Uh, it is partnership, is a mindset. It's not about ticking boxes um, and it's not a formula. And it is about, as Pap said earlier, it is about uh, relationships and it's not about systems. The aim is to build capacity through exchange of workforce and to build practical experience and skills to meet our mission of ensuring adequate and safe blood and components to the hospitals and their appropriate utilization to save lives. In, moder in order to monitor achievements, specific set of objectives and targets were agreed upon. Ladies and gentlemen, I take this opportunity to declare that our partnership successfully achieved most of the set objectives and targets over the years and contributed significantly towards strengthening our blood services. What would an evaluation framework look like for institutional health partnerships? And so really what we, what we want to answer in this short session is why develop the tool, how was it developed, what does it look like, and hopefully you now have a copy of this tool, <laughs> and what does it do? Again, as Andrew already said, for, there has been some cynicism, uh, particularly amongst donors, about the effectiveness of this model and this approach. And certainly when we first started getting involved in this type of work, people were saying, well, does this, do partnerships actually work? Does this approach work? How does it work in comparison to other forms of technical cooperation? Is it as effective? Is it better? What does it produce? And do the benefits last? And those are very important questions to funders. And I think for those of us who do believe that this is a good approach, then we need to be able to find ways of pr providing the evidence so that if we can provide the evidence to funders and answer these questions for them, hopefully there will be more funding available for this kind of approach to working.